Hi everyone, my name is Jacqueline. I'm a current senior at Lowell High School and I'm on the rowing team. Hi everyone, I'm Isaac. I'm a senior at Lowell High School and today we're in the Athletics Building reading Beneath by Corey Dorfeld. Finn was in a horrible mood. Grandpa wanted to talk about it. Finn did not. No, you won't understand. What if we just go out for a walk, Grandpa asked. Please? Finn let out a long sigh. Fine, but I'm staying under here. Don't worry, said Grandpa. I'll remember to think of what's beneath. Grandpa headed for the forest. It's just like when I look at the trees and remember there are parts I can't see. Because beneath what's growing above is what's growing deep below. Or there, Grandpa pointed. See the boat just sitting out on the water? Finn shrugged. Sometimes beneath what looks perfectly still, so much can be swirling around. Trying to guess what's beneath can be easy, Grandpa whispered. I think she's going to be a, a mom. Other times, what's beneath is a mystery. I'm not sure what, to, what it's digging for. Beneath something solid can be something hollow. Beneath what's falling apart can be what's just starting to form. Beneath what's happening on the outside is what's happening on the inside of plants and animals and people Finn wanted to know. Of course, Grandpa answered. Everyone is more than what you see. Beneath appearances are experiences. Beneath actions are explanations. Beneath what's different is what's the same. And sometimes, Grandpa paused, beneath someone who looks like they won't understand is someone who knows exactly how you feel. Grandpa turned towards home. Finn wanted to keep walking. Please? Together, they climbed to the top of the hill. Wow, said Grandpa. Just look at all those stars. Finn looked up at the sky and smiled. Don't worry. I'll remember to think of what's beneath. Thank, Thank you, you for, for listening, listening to us read to you. To you.